Hey everyone, Kat Sullivan with Marketing Solved, and I'm super excited to bring you a brand new training about Facebook ads. And these are going to be some advanced Facebook ad tips. So this training is probably best for people who are familiar with running ads on Facebook and who know their way around the Facebook platform. And the reason I wanted to bring you this training is because in the last month or so, I started doing a little bit more research into my advertising and what I noticed was really interesting and so what I did was took what I figured and took those observations and made a few adjustments to my ads and I saw phenomenal results and I was blown away. So I asked my group, my Facebook group and said, hey, would you guys be interested in learning a couple new techniques? And it was a resounding yes. So that is the purpose of this training. And just a side note invitation, if you would like to join our Facebook community of awesome entrepreneurs, please do so at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash marketing solved and we can connect there. So let's jump into the training. The first thing I wanted to show you was some of the ads that I was seeing. So here is an ad that I saw on my mobile device. So this is a mobile newsfeed ad. And you can tell it's an ad because it says sponsored right here. So that's how you can tell when it's an ad instead of just a page that you like. Then I started doing a little bit more research. So Here's an example of an ad that I saw in my newsfeed. It's from Import Empire, and I wanted to learn more about the ad. Why was I getting this ad in my newsfeed? And the way you do this is when you see an ad, you simply click this arrow right here, and then you'll get a little drop down menu. And that's what this is on this second image. You can choose not to look at that ad anymore. You can hide all ads from a specific advertiser. But what I want you to do is start looking more into the details. So why am I seeing this as an option? And when you click on that, you'll be brought to another page. This tells you exactly why you're seeing that ad. So this specific advertiser, Import Empire, wanted to reach people who were interested in Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. So they are running their ad targeting Facebook fans of the page Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. I am a fan of his page. Therefore, this advertiser is absolutely getting in front of the right audience. But what I'm going to show you next is where I started noticing something pretty interesting. Let me show you what it was. Boom. Here are four different ads from four different advertisers, and they all were in my newsfeed. Now, what you should see here that's very similar is they were all targeting Marie Forleo, whom I love. And so this ad is actually incredibly relevant to me because I am a fan of Marie Forleo. I do like her very much. And so all of these advertisers were getting in front of the right audience. But here is where I made some changes. When I noticed that all of these advertisers were advertising to Marie Forleo's fan page, I thought to myself, wait a minute, all of these advertisers are trying to get in front of the same audience. Well, what does that do to the bottom line? Well, it creates competition for your ad. And when there's a higher competition, that means, yes, you pay more money. That means the bid to reach these people is going to be higher because there's a higher demand to get in front of this audience. Well, what's even more interesting is that I was also running ads to Marie Forleo. So there was five advertisers just that I knew of that were trying to bid the same audience. So I immediately said, you know what? No, I'm going to stop my ad because there's so many other ways to get in front of the right audience. But the reason I want to show you guys this is so that if you're running ads, and you're seeing ads in your newsfeed, take a peek at who they're trying to reach. Because then if you know that you and other people are all targeting the same page, you probably want to target different pages because the bid and the cost for those ads is going to be higher. So do a little research. Look at those ads in your newsfeed and see if you can use that data to your benefit. So the next thing I wanted to show you is you have so many different options when it comes to ads. And that's why I was totally comfortable stopping all advertising going to Marie Forleo's fan page because I knew there are so many other ways that I could be targeting ads that would get the same results at a cheaper price, which is exactly what I want. Now, you could target 
existing fans, you can target brand new fans. What that means is you can target people who already like your page or you can target people specifically who do not like your page. You can target people based on their demographics like their age, their gender, or even where they live. You can target people based on interest. And that's what you were seeing with those Marie Forleo ads. Those are people who liked that specific page, so they show it as an interest. And you can target people based on that. You can target people based on their behavior. What kind of car do they drive? What kind of phone do they have? I mean, there are really an unlimited amount of options here. You can also target people who have visited your website. You can target people who visited a single page on your website or your entire website. You can create lookalike audiences. You can literally create a lookalike audience to your existing fans. So you want to reach fans who look like your fans on your Facebook fan page. You can do that. You could create a lookalike audience for the people who have been visiting your website. You can do that. There are so many options, guys. And then you can also target people who are on your existing email list. And you can create a lookalike audience to reach more people. So these are just a few ad options that I wanted to show you to show you that you don't always have to target just one specific fan page and that you can think outside of the box. So then what I wanted to show you was I kept doing research and I kept looking at every single ad that popped up in my newsfeed because I wanted to see who people were trying to reach and how I could use this data to help me better my ads. And you can see here that I just posted, there, there's a couple different ones, you know, Mari Smith, Allie Brown, Brennan Burchard, Get Response. Now, Get Response is a little different because it's an email management system. So people that like that page are going to be entrepreneurs like myself, business owners. And so I thought that was a really clever type of page to be advertising to. And obviously, they got in front of the right audience because I would be similar to their target audience. Um, and then, of course, in Miracles. So what I want you to see is that these are all very different um, but they're all still very relevant. So you can target a fan page that's not maybe as popular as the Marie Forleo's or those really giant pages um, and still have a lot of success. Then I wanted to show you some additional ads. Now these were ones that I thought were really clever and that's why I wanted to share them. So Shalene Johnson, whom I love again, and Brendan Burchard, both very, very successful business owners, entrepreneurs, and they have a lot of Facebook success. So what's really great about knowing that is when I see their ads and I see who they're targeting, I noticed right here that Shaleen was targeting the law of attraction. Now, I am a huge fan of the law of attraction, but I never thought of targeting them with an ad until I saw that and I thought, hmm, if Shaleen is doing it, then it's probably working. And the same thing with Brendan Burchard. So he is targeting an interest, but it's a very broad interest. It's technology. It's not a specific fan page. It's a very broad interest in technology. But again, what I noticed is that his ad got in my newsfeed, and I am absolutely his target market. So if Shaleen Johnson, who's super successful, and Brendan Burchard, who's also super successful, are trying new ad targets that I hadn't thought of, then maybe because of the success that they have, it might be something for me to try too. So again, these are all just things to give you some inspiration and keep those wheels turning next time you are creating an ad. Then I wanted to show you a couple more. Marketing Co-op wanted to reach women aged 25 to 45 in the United States who have a bachelor's degree. And again, I fall into that category. And what I thought was great was that they were doing it a little differently. They weren't targeting just a page. So there's a great example of how you can target people based on demographics. And then Nikki Elledge Brown wants to reach people who are similar to their customers. And we think you're similar based on what you do on Facebook. So that could be a lookalike audience. So these are just four different examples of targeting that you can do that's not just specifically targeting one fan page and that kind of sets you apart from the competition. Now, we're going to jump into Facebook and I'm going to show you how you can do some more research to start targeting the pages that people aren't targeting so you can get cheaper, more effective ads. So here we are on Facebook and we are at the page of Miss Marie Forleo because she's fabulous and we saw that people are trying really hard to target her fans. So I want to show you a couple of other ways that you can find pages to target. 
Now, when you go to an influencer's account, what you can do is scroll down on their Facebook page and peek at the pages liked by that page. And then from there, you can look at the pages liked by Marie Forleo and maybe get some ideas of pages to target that you hadn't thought of before. So you can see she likes some pretty popular pages, Brennan Burchard, Daniela Porat, Gabby Bernstein, Chris Carr, all great pages, all really good for you to try. Um, but as you keep going, you might see some that you're not familiar with. And you might want to give those a try as far as targeting. And what I did was I actually looked at this one, Barbara, Barbara Corcoran, and I tested an ad specifically to her fan page and I had tremendous results. So I got some really good ideas just by looking at the pages liked by these influencers. You know, another thing you could do is you can go to their pages and look at the pages liked by them and see who they think is good enough to get, you know, that endorsement from them as far as liking their page so just a couple of different things you can do to really think outside the box okay next is graph search now graph search is great and if you don't know what it is it is facebook's installed search engine basically and what you can do is you can type in variety of search terms to, to get more information and so what i did was i used graph search and I typed in pages liked by people who like Marie Forleo. And I wanted Facebook to give me some really great suggestions as far as pages that people are liking that are similar. So this can give you some more ideas of pages to target. So Amy Porterfield, Nikki Elledge Brown, Denise Stufield Thomas, and you can just keep going down the list and making a note of some different pages that you wanna try to target and get in front of a different audience. And again, you can do the same thing where you look at the pages that they like like and really start digging in deeper to get some pages that aren't as popular but probably will get in front of your target audience as well. Now there are two other things I'm going to show you as far as how to get some ideas and who to target. Next I want you to go to your ads manager and in the ads manager you can select tools and then click audience insights and from here you're going to get some great information. And what you see is when you select audience insights, you can start looking at a variety of audiences. You can look at everyone on Facebook, people that are just connected to your page or a custom audience. So what I'm going to do is select everyone on Facebook. And this is going to tell me a lot about who they are. It gives me demographics, page likes, location, activity, all types of things that can help you determine who to target, especially if you wanted to look at your existing fans. But what we can look at here is, again, page likes. What are these people interested in? So you can just peek and see what are the popular pages, what's very, very high on the list. Um, but what I wanna show you is how you can get some more information for your page. So we're gonna use Marie Forleo, and on the left-hand side here, you can see there are a lot of different filters that you can create. But what we wanna do is select Again, Miss Marie Forleo, because she is a hot topic for this training. And look at the different pages that are liked and that are similar. So you can see here, business person, Kate Northup. We didn't see that page listed anywhere. So this would be a great one to try. Entrepreneur, Allie Brown. There you go. Melanie Duncan, it's a company, Live Out Loud. These are all really great pages and different interests that you can start using to advertise instead of competing to get in front of that one specific audience. So take some time, guys, and do a little bit more research to stay ahead of the competition. So write some of these down. Now, what I want to tell you again, a little bit of bad news. Not all of these are going to be able to be targeted. And I wish I had an answer for you as to why, but I don't. So what you can do is when you're creating an ad, let's pop back over here, you can come down to the interest section. And as we type in Marie Forleo, which we have already used, um, you can start entering in some of those pages. And if they don't come up, then you just want to keep moving on. But what you can do here is you can select suggestions. So after you type in Marie Forleo, Ask for some suggestions. Facebook, who do you think I should target if that's who I'm trying to reach? And from there, they can give you some additional options. So Gabrielle Bernstein was one, Marianne Williamson, maybe Brian Tracy. And you can just kind of go through here using 
all of those tools you have. So use your audience insights, really dig deep, use the suggestion box, use graph search, really take the time to look at the ads that are hitting in your newsfeed so that you can make better decisions for your ads. Okay, so I'm going to conclude the training. I just want to keep it short and super informative. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, feel free to share it with your fellow business owners. And that way I can continue to keep bringing you great content. All right, have a great day. Thanks, guys.